Yes, we we talked earlier. Yes, um, I would meet them by Saturday. Okay, yeah, that that's great. Oh, um, no, I I can't pick them up. Okay, I see. Um, and how much would that be? Yeah, yeah, uh, sorry, um, I'm still here, yeah, uh, okay, that's fine, just ship them over to, to the address I gave you, yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Hey, Jess? Mm. Could you please lend me 35 bucks? I just talked to the balloon guys and apparently the shipping wasn't included in the total cost. So just forget about the freaking balloons. Why do you need them anyway? You know why. Oh, come on. She's old. She can barely recognize us. She doesn't need any balloons. Don't talk about our mother like that. Look, this may be her last birthday. She doesn't look good at all. And the nurses didn't give me any good news last week. And you think some stupid balloons will make her feel better? Yeah, I do. Anything that will put a smile on her face. She deserves it. Well, if you can't afford them, it's not worth it. All of my income goes into her treatment. I'm paying for everything. Her medicine, her doctors, the nursing home. This is the first time I'm asking you to chip in a little and... You don't even care. Hey Max, how are you? Well, it's bad to be back home, but uh, I really miss you. Yeah, tell me about it. But at least you're closer to your family now. What's wrong? What do you mean? You're sad? Tell me what happened. It's nothing. I don't want to burden you with my problems. Let's talk about our plans. So, tell me, where will you take me in France? I'll take you anywhere you want. But really, talk to me. What's wrong? I don't even know where to start. I mean, I don't know, I'm just... tired and lonely. All I do is work and pay for everything for mom and for the house. Jess is no help at all. I mean, I just asked him to lend me a few bucks, but he wasn't very interested. How oh, Lily, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you had financial trouble. Please tell me I can help you anyway. No, Max, don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Um, anyways, I have to get back to planning the party, so we'll catch up later, okay? Okay, no problem. Just now I'm here for you. 
if you need to talk, call me. I will. Thanks. Jess, I need you to leave your phone for a bit and help me out. What do you need me to do? Well, first of all, I need you to leave your phone. Jeez, drop the attitude. <laughs> Please, don't get me started. You're just mad your friend left and now you're taking it out on me. This has nothing to do with Max. This is about you leaving me to take care of everything. You just crash on my couch and eat all of my food for free. And that's fine. You're my brother and I'll help you out with whatever I can. But you, on the other hand, besides not helping me out with anything, you won't even lend me a few bucks. If I don't have any money, how do you want me to lend you some? What do you mean you don't have any money? I thought you got a job. I mean, you, you don't have to pay rent, you don't pay for food, you, you don't even get out of the house. And so how come you don't have money? That job didn't work out. I just have to find something else. And what was wrong with that job? It sucked. It sucked? That's it? Oh my god, Jess. Oh, stop being so bossy with me. I'll just get another one. Fine, just, just help me out and I'll leave you alone. Okay, so the party is this Saturday. Wait, this Saturday? Yes, this Saturday. Your mother's birthday, remember? Oh crap, I don't know if I can make it. At what time is it? At two. I'll see what I can do. I don't know what plans you have, and frankly, I don't give a shit. You will be there. Oh, come on. She won't even notice if I'm there or not. Don't talk like that. Even if she's ill, that doesn't change the fact that you're her son. Whatever. How can you not give a damn about her? She's your mother. She gave you life. She raised you. She did everything in her power to give you a decent life. She always asks about you when I go see her and every time I have to make up some dumbass excuse to cover up for your ass because you can't even be bothered to go check up on her. Oh, please drop the act. You've always been her favorite. You always had the perfect grades, the perfect attitude, basically the perfect child. Me, on the other hand, just her loser son. Nobody has ever called you that. Everyone struggles. But we've always been here for you. And as you can see, I'm still here for you. But you? You never show any respect and you're never there. Just like dad. I cannot believe you are comparing me with him. So just because he bailed, I should have taken his spot? There was not any spot for you to take. She took care of everything. She worked several jobs so that we would not miss out on anything. She put food on the table. She repaired something in the house when it was broke. She played with us. She helped us with school. And she showed up every single time she needed to. She filled his spot. Nobody had any expectation from you. You just had to be thankful and respectful and grateful for everything. But I guess that was too much for you. And apparently it still is. I don't even know why I'm trying anymore. <laughs> there it is. I was actually wondering when you'd say that. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, why do you hate us so much? I don't hate you. Oh yeah, my bad. You hate the world. Yeah, well, you know what? You can climb down from that pedestal of yours and look around. It's a crappy world out there. Yeah, I know. I live in it too. Then what the hell are you rambling on about, if you know? 
No one out there gives a shit about you or your life. No one's there for you. People are there for you. You just have to let them in. Oh yeah? Besides that friend of yours who left by the way, so he's useless, who's there for you? Mom. And after she'll die, who's gonna be there for you? Then I'll be just like you. Alone. But at least I'll have a place to live. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. I'm done. I don't need your help anymore. The only thing you'll have to do is show up on Saturday. For her, not for me. And then you'll have a week to find a place to stay. I will not bother you anymore, just like you wanted. And you'll carry on with your life. But away from us. <laughs>